enemy claims his own game. Oh, that was crispy nade. Before we dive into the video, I want to let you know to subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to 300,000 subscribers and I'm pretty excited about that. Drop me a like on the video to show your support. It only takes a second. It would mean a lot. And also make sure you click the bell, select all so that you can be notified whenever my videos go up. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. The name's Frostbolt and this one, we're taking a look at the catalyst for Lemon Arc. Now, some of you may be curious how you get your hands on it. Well, all you have to do is play the activity playlist and you have a chance of it dropping for you. Anyways, let's take a look at what the catalyst does. Rapidly defeating targets triggers health regeneration. Guardians and powerful combatants count as more than one kill. So this is basically unrelenting. In Crucible, when you get a double down, that health regen will proc instantly. So I would say this is pretty good for a PvP player who likes to go for streaks with a Lemon Arc. Where this catalyst actually really shines is going to be in PvE. Primary exotics actually got a 40% damage boost. So you're going to be slaying a lot of ads. And not only that, you're going to get a lot of health region. So really what I'm using this for is just for streaks and maybe the stat bonuses that, to be honest, I don't really notice. You get a boost to stability and a boost to reload speed. Now, I'm going to use a little build that takes Lemon Arc to the whole next level. And that is using the Lorely Splendor Helmet. Whenever you become one shot, you create a sunspot. And guess what? That's a free bonus damage. When you combine that with the Lemon Arc, you just start getting a lot of one-shot kills. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Let's get into it. There's one below me. There you go. Come on, rush me. Radar pings really close range. Oh, crispy nade timing. Oh, he pushed me with the glaive. At least I got a trade. Oh, the sunspot. That guy's dead. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. You gotta watch out. They're getting a little bit crazy in that area. They want to get out. He pushed me with the last Titans word. Like you, I could build all seven columns and shake the pillars to their core. The glaive is actually really loud. I can hear from all the way over here. That doesn't really mean much when this map is like so small. Oh my god. As soon as I heard the last word, I should have just ran further back. Maybe off the map would have been ideal. The 
enemy down. What can stop you if you fight together? He's trying to get that glaive gameplay. Nothing. You wage war like a true titan. Two for one. It's nice you can one hit that with a shoddy or something. Surprised I'm missing all those barrels. Oh, he one shot me. I didn't think I was that weak. Was that SMG? I thought I was just gonna fry my health. Holy Sunbreaker plays. What in the world? Oh, he turned around. Big brain. Had peak shots that kid. It would have been crazy if my sunbreaker lasted even longer and I got more kills than this one. A strong start. Fight on. What just happened to me? An axe and bolt? Didn't you Axel was still chasing me. I think there's a sniper back there I'm scared of. Oh, we're bumping. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. I thought I saw a sniper back there. Why is he looking at me? There's dude, there's a dude literally on the power ammo. <laughs> I just chased too hard. Oh, they got two players on top already. I'm not seeing much map control here from me and my teammates funneling inside a little bit too much. I really like that crate. Three minutes. You're winning. Stay strong. Doesn't seem like they're gonna allow me to play that anymore. Tried to noble bomb me, and he failed. No. Menarch with the catalyst is just more than Menarch. A little bit of a better feeling. And if you can get multi kills, the unrelenting is going to treat you nicely.